Hello Aquarius, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, The Gothic D3 Tarot, she review as well. Thank you. What is that? What is that about, Aquarius? Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Couple more, I'll jump into this. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes we call our cat a roly poly. He likes to <laughs> hang out in the blinds and just roll around and roll around and roll around and roll around and roll around. It's kind of funny though, because then it lets the light in, then close it, lets the light in, close it, lets the light in, and close it. It's kind of like just a big old ball of energy that can't sit still. Just fidgety and jittery and doesn't know what to do with all that energy and it's kind of like somebody looks at you you're talking about me yes we are mother just groomed me what am i supposed to do be you so then he's like okay fine oh so he he walks away from the blinds and <laughs> continues his business i'm like fine i'm gonna groom myself then he's a good boy <laughs> crazy cook <laughs> Okay, jumping into this, Aquarius. What you do, show me. There's a strong consideration here of what you want to do. I do see you have stockpiled some sort of amount of finances and income. So a lot of this is savings. Um, and I kind of feel like you're having that realization with yourself as to kind of what you want to do, what you want to create for yourself, how to utilize this. And this is what's very interesting. It almost kind of seems and it feels like you're wanting possibly some sort of vacation or break. I don't know what that's about. It's like, maybe you want to get away, travel, um, go out of town. Don't know. I'll give you this, Aquarius. You're giving me that that manifesting energy. You're, you're literally like painting a picture out for me. You're like, you know what? If I want to manifest something, I'm going to lie down, find a quiet place, um, get comfortable, meditate upon this, meditate upon what I want. And you're going through the thoughts and the emotions and literally the energetic motions of what you're trying to create for yourself. And this is what's very fascinating is um, your reality is clashing with your imagination your projections, what you're visualizing for yourself, your reality is clashing with it. And you're kind of saying, you know what? It's interesting. You, you kind of, you know, it's like Aquarius, where'd you go? And it's kind of like, you know, instead of the, the space music, beep. then back to earth, um, it's kind of like, and wake up three, two, one, snap out of it. It does make you happy, though, and that's what's very interesting. It's almost kind of like this projection of the visualization of what you're wanting to create for yourself and then whoosh, snapping back into reality and waking up. Um, now you're faced with what's in front of you. You're saying regarding your, your investments and your business and how things are currently going, 
you're showing me there's an energy here of you, you <laughs> literally the light. It's kind of like when you open your eyes, there's the light. Um, faced with reality, you're, you're pretty determined here to fix and solve and make some sort of financial changes and adjustments regarding your situation. And this is what's very interesting is this energy of visualizing what you want, the life you want to create and manifest for yourself, but bridging what you want with what you currently have. That's what you're doing right now. You're, you're making the bridge. Um, what is that called? The rainbow bridge. The rainbow bridge. I believe that's used in what movie is that? With Thor and um, uh, what was his his home planet? I don't know. Was it a planet or was it a place? Um, Rag not Ragnarok. Ragnarok where he travels. He goes to the Rainbow Bridge and he shoots through like a beam of light. I forget. Um, Thor, though. Show me 777, Aquarius. There you are. Hmm. Go ahead and show me five, five, five. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. That's some shit, yeah. What am I looking at? The synchronicities, Aquarius. Hold on. Um, one minute. How many am I looking at? I'm looking at doubles and triples. You know, this is a real good thing if, you, if you're playing poker. I'm looking at 444, 555, 777. There's some, I was going to say, and there's the last five. One, one, one. Yeah, the synchronicities, Aquarius. What are you doing? Um, We'll see where this goes. But back to you, what you're showing me is you're trying to make the, I don't understand this, but you show me you're, quote, trying to make the best of a living situation or maybe a home or maybe a business or a foundation, but you're showing me a living situation. Um, it's kind of like, yay, great, I have to deal with, you know, financial problems and issues. Yay, great. Mm -hmm. No one wants to fucking do that. Um... Just problems and issues. It's kind of like, you know, you wake up and you feel like you got, you know, a collector just staring at you in the face all day long, every single day. It is what it is. That's, that's bills. Um, but you are trying to put together some sort of game plan and strategy as to how to kind of bring in more money for yourself. And that's what's very fascinating is you do. Um, you're saying there, there's quick, easy ways to make money and bring in income. But for some reason, even though it's kind of like, you know, it's like any income is great income. At the same time, if it's not enough income, it's kind of like, you know, it's this dark cloud that just kind of, you know, you, you feel like, you know, ball and chain, if you will. Um, mm, symbolism. Mm -hmm. There's the Ace of Pentacles following that energy is what I'm getting at. You're saying, well, it is what it is. Um, it sucks, but it is what it is. But, you know, I can still kind of utilize what I've made, my income, whatever income that is or revenue for something else for myself. Even though you're kind of like, this really sucks, I'm in a boat that is slowly filling with water. Um, you're having that unfortunate realization, Aquarius, that you're kind of like, I don't know what I need to do. I don't know what I need to do. I don't know what I need to do. Um, you're having that realization settle and sink in now. Apologies for my verbiage. The boat filling with water and the reality sinking in. Um you're looking for a solution. You're looking for a solution or a way to kind of like, you know, plug that hole, if you will.
Holes on a car is a good thing. Holes in a boat is not. Let that turbo breathe. There you are. <laughs> mm, you know, you and Leo show me the exact same energy. Someone like someone on your side, like arm candy. Um, <laughs> and there's the, the commitment, the relationship with the marriage. Um, you have a big decision to make, Aquarius. It, it does feel like you, you are inspired here by something or by someone. Um, a little curious to see what you're going to do with your, you know, your significant other by your side. But we'll kind of see where this goes. So you're doing what you got to do. It's all we can do. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with a fire sign, an earth sign, an air sign, or a water sign. Goodbye.